Okay, baby doll, I'm gonna come back. Andy, help Joseph, okay? I'll be back in a little while. Mommy's got exercise now. Hi, everybody. You're here at my home in Pennsylvania. It's a cool fall day, so it's a perfect time to start thinking about, I need an in-home workout. I need some exercise for indoors. This is a one mile super calorie burn. You're gonna love it. Come with me, we're gonna start. Welcome to my home, everybody. Let's warm up. Okay, first start out with just marching in place. Walk Aerobics has four basic steps. If you can get these four steps, you can easily follow the program. Okay, so walking is one. Just march in place. Two and three and four, good. And five, six, seven. Next, let's do knee lifts. All you do is pull the knee straight up. Good. And five, six, seven. Stay there for eight more now. Eight and seven and six and five, four, three, and two, good. Back to walking. Just getting the blood moving around to the muscles. Five, six, seven. Let's do the kicks now. So alternating kicks. Just kick straight out. Very good. Seven. Everything is easy to follow. Four, three, and two. Let's just go back to walking now and walk. Six, seven, eight more counts and eight. Seven, six. Five. Now, one more step I want you to get is the side step. It's very easy. You step out to the side and let the other foot come in to meet it. Three, four more counts. Good. Staying right on the beat. Here it comes. Out together, out together. Just step out to the side, bring the other foot in to meet it. That's a side step. Okay, we did the four basic steps. Now, you know we're going to build on that and add to that to create the intensity. But if you have these steps down, you're going to be fine. Good. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two. Let's go back to walking and walk. Good, so that was a nice little review. You know what you're going to do? Five, six, seven, let's do knee lifts again. Here they come, knee up, knee up. A great idea to keep the abdominal muscles tightened up because it gives you good support for the back. Four, three, two, let's do four more, and four, three, two. Okay, now let's walk again, walk. You can always go back to walking. If there's something we do later on that you really just can't follow, go back to walking just to keep yourself moving. Good, alternate kicks right here. Now kick and kick, kick and kick, kick, kick. You can already feel the muscles warm. Good. We're preparing the body so the heart rate will start to raise and we'll prepare it for the aerobic conditioning. Good. Last two, kick, kick. Now walk, good. And five, six, back to side steps. Here they come. Step out together, out together. Just let the upper body relax for now. We'll get it moving. Good. Out together, out together. Five, six, seven. Okay, let's walk again, now walk. All right, just to wake up upper body, let's reach up, pull down, push forward, pull back. Let's do one more time just to wake it up. Good, that's all. Six, seven, now move up two. All I want you to do is walk forward two, and then back two. Now remember, if you don't have a lot of room at home, that's okay, stay where you are. One, two, back up, one, two, forward, one, two, back up, one, two, let's do it again. And two, good, one, and two, one, and two, good, one, and two. Last time, forward, two, stay where you are, now walk. Very good. Now, I want you to open up the feet a bit. Three and four, lift them a little higher. We gotta get that blood pumping through the muscles so we're nice and warm for the aerobics. Four, three, two, this is a kickback. All you do, lift the heel. Good. Lift the heel up. Instead of kicking forward, you really just kick back. Kick back, kick back, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and let's do eight more, hang on. Good, kick back, kick back, and back to walking. Okay, now's the time to add the weight. So what we do, these are my weighted gloves. If you don't have these, you can easily use dumbbells. These little one pound weights are great. You can find them at any little store. They're one pound, two pounds. I wouldn't go past two pounds. I think that's plenty to get a great workout. So let's keep our feet moving. Six, seven, and eight, good. So when we add these weights, this is when we really bump up that calorie burn. Good. 
Okay, everybody, keep those feet moving. Now, you hear the music increased, the pace increased, so we've got to pick up those feet. Two, three, let's hold the weights close to our body for now. Six, seven, eight, that's good. Walk, two, three, four, just keep them tight. Okay, let's go to side steps. Here we go, step out. Now, adding a little more intensity means you've got to sit into it. So you tell your thigh muscles, we've got to work a little harder thighs. If you stand up tall, you're using energy, but not as much as sitting down into it. Good. That's it, hold on to the weight. Four, three, two. Now walk in place, just walk. Good, okay, let's start some upper body. All I want you to do in a controlled manner, just punch out, pull back. I want you to get used to how much weight you're dealing with. Don't even worry about how slow you're going. Good. Feet move at the same beat, but the arms stay slow. Okay, hold the weights in. There's eight, seven, six. Now raise the weights above the head, slow. Six, ready, here it comes. Raise up, down. Good, good. And eight, and seven, and six. And five, four, three, two. Can you tell already what the weights are doing for you? Wow, they're zooming those calories. Five, six. Okay, now weights again, go forward. Punch forward, pull back. Good, with the beat. Punch, pull back, punch, pull back. Eight, seven. If you're new to exercise, you don't have to use the weights through this whole segment. If you're starting to get tired already, even in a minute or two, go ahead and put the weights down and just continue. Do two more. Do one more. Okay, hold the weights in. Five, six, alternating kicks. Here it comes. Just kick, kick. Good. Raise the leg a little higher than that warm-up now. We're into aerobics. Four more. Four, three. The heart rate is going right where you need it to go for you to get a great conditioning workout for your heart and lungs. That's it. Kick and kick, kick, kick. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep the kicks going. Now, when your right foot is up, then your left hand punches. So it's opposite. Good. Punch, 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 punch. Good. Four more counts. Four, three, two. That's all. We're walking now. Walk. Okay, weights above the head, here it comes again. Up and down and up. Two more like that. One more. Punch to the front now. Punch, 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 and punch. Now, up, down, front, and back. You just put it together. There you go. And up, down, front, and back. Up and down, front, and back. Up and down front and back last time very good hold the weights in close two okay alternating knee lifts here they come knees up knees up again so important to have good posture tighten up abdominals feel good support to the spine good and there's eight seven six five we're going to move a little with the knee lift four counts forward like this four you don't have to have a lot of room and four just move two Three, you can feel the muscles of the gluteals, the thighs, hamstrings, quadriceps. And four, there's one, two, three, four. Here come the weights. Two, this time when we move forward, we're gonna start some alternating bicep curls. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Hang in there. We're going forward again. Here's one and two. Three and four, good. One, two, three, four, good. One, two, three, and four. Last time back, then stay in place. Three and four. Here we go. There's eight, seven, six, five. You don't want to jerk the weights around. Keep them slow and controlled. Good. Keep yourself moving. Now, back to a march. We're going to catch the beat of the next one. It's going to bump up a little bit more. We're going to have a little bit more intensity. But hang in there through this because you're almost, oh, you are, you're halfway done. So hang on, come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Side steps are coming, here we go. 
All right, now sit down into it. Use more thigh muscle. If you need a break, stand up tall and just keep yourself moving at a, at a more moderate movement. But let's add some intensity if you're okay. Ah, good. All right, way through there. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, and out, in, out, in. Good. One more. All right, put the weights to the side. And just concentrate on the legs now. Five, six, seven. You want to do a double? These are singles. One, two, three. Do four more single side steps. Okay, a double side step. If you have the room, come on with me. That's it, just giving more movement to the legs. You gotta carry that body weight all the way over. One, two. That's good. Two, here come weights. Back, back, and back. Reach out, pull back. Reach out, pull back. If you can't do the arms and the feet together, forget it. Hold the weights to your sides. Good. We're doing it again. Good. Okay, walk in place, walk right here. Good. It's a miracle the kids aren't bothering me. <laughs> it's a miracle they haven't come in yet. It's a miracle the phone didn't ring. <laughs> Good. And eight, seven, six, five, going back to kicks, four, three, two, okay, kick right here. Now get that leg up. Opposite reaches, punch, punch, punch you reach straight ahead it's a little punch good eight seven six five come on legs you're just burning a lot of calories especially this late in the workout the weights have really helped us to speed that calorie burn all right let me give you a quick little weight loss tip while those legs are moving <laughs> and one is short intense workouts are so good for you some days do short intense workouts you're doing it right now some days do long moderate workouts the combination of both of those are what's going to tell your body, here's something new to adapt to. The short, intense workout or the long, moderate workout. That helps speed into weight loss. So that's one tip. <laughs> kick, kick, it's helped me many times. Good, vary the workouts through the week, short or long. The short one, of course, it's easy to have moderate, have it intense with the weight. Good, come on, walk, 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 walk. Okay, upper body, let's go again. Here's what we're going to do. Go up, down, now stretch out. Come up, down, now stretch out. Good, reach up, down, now stretch out. Control the weights. Very good. If you're getting too tired to have good control of the weights, I'd put them down and finish without them. Good. I think you need about two weeks. If you're a beginner, if you're new to exercise, you need about two weeks of this workout without the weights then start adding them up at two or three minutes at a time last time good okay hold the weights to your side come on legs we're moving up and back again two and two two forward two back let's go one two back two good if you don't have room you can stay where you are two one two back two one two good another weight loss tip while we're moving your best motivator to stay in control of food is exercise. Exercise is the most motivating thing for you now to say, today I'm gonna have a great day of eating. Healthy foods, I'm gonna plan the foods I eat. It really does help you to stay on your plan to get to those weight loss goals. Stay where you are. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two. Knees up again, knees up, knees up, knees up. Move with the knees now, knees up, knees up, knees up. We're doing about four forward and four back. There we go. I'm gonna start a little bicep curl. Opposite, good. Opposite hand and opposite knee come up together. Pull up, good. One, two, three. Four, back up, one, two, three, forward, one, two, three, back up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, back up, one, two, three, stay with me now, keep walking, we're going to grab the beat, 
it's going to, the pace is going to decrease now. We're through with the weights. So go ahead and just put them on the floor. Six and seven and eight, plop. <laughs> Do you hear that big crash? Those were heavy. We had two pounds in each glove. Five, six, seven. Nice pace to start reducing the heart rate, bringing it back to, it's actually recovering. We're going into recovery for the heart rate. Breathing comes back to normal. And I'm so happy. I hope you're sweating like I am. That's so good. <laughs> six, seven, little side steps now. That's it. Oh, this is the best part of the workout. You went through the challenging part. You burned a lot of calories, and you're going to continue to burn a lot of calories. One nice thing about these intense, short workouts, after the next three, four, five hours after, you're going to burn more calories because muscle activity will stay high because you forced your metabolism to speed. So that's your bonus. You're going to burn more calories after this workout. And five, six, seven. OK, let's walk in place. Walk, two, three, four. Little kicks to the front. That's it. Just easy. Just relax now. We're going to allow the body to recover. And again, just because your body slows down and will come to a stop, muscle activity stays high for the next few hours. Wow, is that great for weight loss. Abdominals tight. Keep that good posture. Two more. So let's go right into knee lift. That's it. Another good thing to do for weight loss, plan your meals. Write them down. Write down what you're going to eat for the next week. Try to stick to it. More than likely, you're going to stick to your plan. If you don't have a plan, you're out of control every day. Make a plan every single day and try to stick to it. Believe me, you'll come out ahead. Do two more. OK, let's walk. Bring your breathing back to a normal pace. Five, six, seven. All I want you to do now is bring the feet apart just a bit. Three, four, five. We're going to do a mini squat. Seven. It looks like this. You know it from the other walk aerobic videos. That's good. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Just bend, bend, bend. And six, seven, four more times. Four, three, two. Now, look. Turn the toes out. Drop it just a little more. Get a little stretch for the legs. I want you to reach straight up and really lift up on the diaphragm. You can feel the ribs lift. All right, now bring the elbows down and behind you. Push forward and fan out your back. Pull your elbows back, and I want you to just keep going. And if you can get your hands back there and hold on, you're going to stretch across the chest, the shoulders, the biceps. It opens up. OK. And relax. Shoulders rolling back. Good. Turn the toes back in a little. And drop into it one more time and come up real quick. Let's go into a calf stretch. If you put your heel into the carpet and just lean your body weight forward, we're going to stretch from the Achilles tendon all the way up the leg. We're going to get a good stretch. And hold. Good. Four. Three. Two. Drop your chest just a bit. Now you go beyond for that good stretch. OK. Bring the chest back. Let's turn to the other side. Again, plant the heel in the carpet and just bring your body weight forward. Bring your breathing back to normal. You feel the heart rate coming back to a slow pace. Good, all the sweat coming out. That's good. Chest down just a little more. Keep your head in line with your spine. And hold. Four, three, two. Come on back. Let's bring our feet together. Inhale up. Stay right here. Bend the knees. Hold the abs in. Keep reaching as you bend. Now, I want you to stay halfway down right here. Put your hands on your thighs. You're going to support your back more. Round your back like a cat. Flatten your back like a table. Round it. You tighten your gluteals and push them forward. Those are your back end muscles. Now, flatten it like a table. This next time, just roll all the way up. I want you to just step out. Inhale and blow. We don't monitor pulses on this. It's a short workout, so you just have to Find how you feel during the peak part of the workout. When you feel like, boy, I'm working too hard, you slow yourself down. So that's it. You had a great workout. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye. Let me go see where the kids are. <laughs>
to bring you a great program that I feel was needed because I've been in the fitness industry for 19 years and many people coming to my fitness center and using my exercise videos uh, always had the question about foods and nutrition and weight loss. And again, I've always been eager to help them with the fitness and things like that, but I never had my program that I believed in in any kind of form for video or book. So right now, we are going to help people uh, learn this plan that is the safest, the healthiest, it's the most natural way to shed body fat. And Tony's here to consult and help us because of her great education and, and uh, her history and helping others to lose weight. Remember all those silly things we did to lose weight when we were teenagers? They were crazy and dangerous. They were, we believed every ad. We did. But you drank that liquid protein. And you <laughs> walked to the town wall to the health house to buy granola. I remember those bags. <laughs> and you thought that it would take off weight. Remember? And then granola was so high calorie. It was. When you were passing out in the corner your fourth day on the liquid protein. Right. I cheated the first day. <laughs> I knew about food. Not lose I remember that. that. And really, that's what many people do. They go through all those crazy weight loss things until you finally understand what you need to do to get that body healthy and shed body fat and now 19 years in the exercise business I am so happy that I have learned what exercise has done for our bodies and exactly. how it applies to weight loss and Tony right I've been in you, the nutrition business for 17 years right in your nutrition and your education and the combination of the nutrition and the exercise really is what's exciting in the weight loss business. And we now have gotten together to bring a program to everyone that tells the truth about weight loss. What we're going to start with is the formula that shows everyone the calorie level they need just to maintain their weight. So it's really telling people how much food do I need today just to maintain my weight. Okay, and so start. the, the mm -hmm. name of the formula is called the Harris-Benedict Equation, mm -hmm. and dietitians throughout the country use this uh, formula to do a nutritional assessment. So this is done in hospitals? Exactly, yeah. in outpatient clinics, uh, wherever. Right. Okay, now first of all, we're going to put that uh, Harris-Benedict Equation so that the people at home uh, oh, along can, can, do do it. can do their own and determine their calorie needs for the day. Good. And um, what we need is we need your height, your weight, your age, whether you're male or female, because those are things that influence your metabolism. Right. Okay. That's how you find your calorie level. Exactly. And the calories truly are the bottom line. Burning calories every day, either through exercise and trimming just a few calories from your meal plan are the things that guarantee successful weight loss. Right. And the fat loss. Correct. That's correct. And it's a very healthy, too. Good, Tell. Okay, so we're going to start. Hey, well, I don't say Tell. It's my sister. No. Tony, I call you Tell. That's fine. Well, it is. Um, <laughs> the, uh, what we do is, look, to plug in the formula, first of all, we have to get your your weight, your uh -huh. present weight, which is 100. Okay, so let's do my calorie yeah, level. We're going to do your calorie level for the okay, day. Okay, so you want my height is right to work. Five feet, four inches, so that would be, um, for the hair standard, if you need to convert that into centimeters. So you need to take 64 inches times 2.54, and that gives you um, 162.56 centimeters. My inches in height is exactly. converted exactly. to centimeters. Okay. That's correct. And okay. then, in the, in the, um, then you need to take your weight in pounds, mm -hmm. which is 124 pounds. 124 pounds. I told you that earlier. Right. right. Do we have to tell my weight? Right. We do. We're not thinking of the camera. We're not thinking about that now. Does she want to Okay, so then 124, you would divide that by 2.2 to get your weight in kilograms to plug into the formula. Okay. And since 124 divided by 2.2 equals 56.36 kilograms. Okay. You multiply that number by 9.56 to get a number for the Harris Benedict formula. Uh, for the um, height, you multiply the height in centimeters times, which yours was 163, we'll round it off times 1.85 for females. So our formula looks like this. 655 plus 539 plus 301. Then we minus your age in years times 4.7 for females. And how old am I? You're 36 now, years old. I'm the younger old. sister. I'd like that, to say that, that. That's the truth. I'd like to that is the truth. Younger. <laughs> and um, okay, so then once is the total there. Uh -huh. So we would plug in this whole formula and I come up with 1,326 calories. 
Now that is your, it's called your basal energy expenditure. So what that means is, in 24 hours, just as bed rest, you need 1,326 calories just to maintain your weight. So I can go to bed with a tray of food that's 1,300 calories and I won't gain weight. Technically speaking, that's the truth. Oh, well, I'm going to go straight to bed. <laughs> okay. okay. And then what you need to do to determine your activity level, since the Harris Benedict plugs in that activity, okay, um, is to look at what you do during the week. Mm -hmm. And I know that you have three children, you're very busy, you run up and down the steps, you do laundry, you have a business, you have a fitness center, you do the videos, and you would be exhausted. Hey. If I, I would be more exhausted. I had it. Right. Uh -huh. No, no, I see what you're saying. Still, we're, we're going to uh, classify you as more active. Only more 1.3, you would multiply this BEE, which mm -hmm. is 13, 26 times 1.3 to give you a total of 1,700 calories per day as your maintenance. And the reason being is you're not pushing class, you're not in a factory sweating, not no way way way. you're not a construction right. worker, so you're not heavy activity. Okay. So Tony, that's surprising. You know, mm -hmm. I would think I would be a highly active person because you're very just busy. because I'm in the fitness industry and I am with three small children. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But you told me you work out intensely for 45 minutes, three to four times per week, which you know, but that's all I do. The rest of it is just uh, the busyness of my day. So I guess exactly. I'm only moderately active. You're moderately active, but you are burning calories with that workout, and you're burning about 1,400 to 1,800 calories per week. Good. Okay, so in order for you to lose weight, you the 1500 calorie level would be perfect if you wanted to lose weight, which you're at an ideal body weight right now. So I would reduce 200 or 300 calories because my calorie limit is 17. Exactly. 100. And then you would want to I'll go down to 15. Exactly. And then you need to be consistent with daily exercise, such as a brisk walk or walk aerobics for 30 to 45 minutes per day mm -hmm. to burn the last 250 calories. Then you're going to lose body fat rather than, exactly, then, then you're going to lose the, the fat by Good. burning calories, being in a calorie deficit for you. Everyone's an individual and everyone has to figure out their own formula. Right, and we've got the formula for them, they can plug in their own personal Exactly. Numbers. Good. Exactly. Well, Tony, let's do this. Next, we're going to show what 1,500 calories look like in real food. That's so right. let's show everybody what a whole day of eating would be for somebody That's my right. size. Or someone even a little heavier is easily going to lose weight right. on 1,500 calories. Right. It's, it's a good range of calories for many women to lose right. weight on. Right. Most females will lose weight on a 1,500 when it's combined with the moderate exercise. However, the men, a safer calorie level for men would be the 1,800 to 2,000. And we are going to display the 1,800 calories as well. OK, good. OK. OK, let's go to the next one and get the food ready. That sounds okay. great. Stay with us.
Okay, now let's look at all the different food groups and the right portions of every food. Because, Tony, I believe for weight loss, the most important thing people can do is first bump up their activity. They need great exercise, and I hope I've been helping them with that for many years. But next, you need to get in the portion of food that's right for you. Find out how much food is right for your size body. I call it perfect portions, because I think if you really understand how much food you need, you probably won't overeat. Most people really do say, that's enough, I will stop at that perfect portion. So, activity and portions. Show us what the right portion sizes are for each type of food. Okay, Leslie, this display is based on the five food, food groups in mm -hmm. the Food Guide Pyramid. And at the base of the pyramid, you notice that um, the complex carbohydrates, which consist of the bread, the macaroni, your rice, your cereal, etc. I'm going to give you an example of what one serving is or one portion. Mm -hmm. That would be like a slice of either raisin bread, white bread, brown bread, or wheat bread. Wheat Any bread. type of bread. Mm -hmm. uh, one slice is one serving. One half of a bag, only a half of a bag. One half of a bag is your serving size. Many many people eat the whole bagel, and it is it's a lot of calories. That's yeah. true. A medium potato. We have an individual box of cereal or three fourths of a cup of dry cereal. One half a cup of cooked macaroni or rice is one portion. Okay. So from the base of the pyramid, the next level we have our fruit and vegetables. The vegetables, one half a cup of cooked vegetable is one portion. And you can a half a cup of cooked, that's correct. You can mm -hmm. use a measuring cup or, you know, a lot of times we're at uh, a buffet and one of these serving spoons level would be one quarter cup. So you have two just a spoon spoons. out of my kitchen. So we know that this is uh, just a typical spoon we use right in our kitchens. You can scoop it right out of a pan and you know that's about a half a cup. Exactly. Good. All right, Good. now for the fruits, actually four ounces of unsweetened juice is one serving or one portion. A medium piece of fruit, such as a kiwi or an orange or an apple, a cup of strawberries, Two tablespoons of raisins, those are all the correct portion to have as far as fruit is concerned. Good. The next level of the pyramid, we have our dairy and we have our protein. And one serving of dairy would be eight ounces of milk or one ounce of cheese or eight ounces of yogurt. The servings of protein would be two ounces. And you need at least, it depends on your activity and whether you're male or female, which we'll get into that in a little bit, of how much meat that you can have. Good. At the top of the pyramid, we have our, our fats, sweets, and others. Actually, three teaspoons of, three okay. teaspoons of the Hershey bar. butter, margarine, or oil <laughs> is a healthy amount of fat to have. And we're going to show you how you can work in some sweets and still remain right. on a low-fat, low-calorie diet and still lose weight. I was being silly, but any, there are no bad foods. That's the truth. And there's nothing wrong with the Hershey bar. That's right. There's 230 calories, and you definitely can work in 230 calories. That's right. The wrong is 10 Hershey bars. That's right. The first Hershey bar wasn't bad. That's right. The, the 10th one got bad. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about, portion control. If you eat the foods you really like, you're probably going to be satisfied that you won't crave other things and you won't need large amounts of food. I really believe we need to look at foods and know how much is right for us instead of listening to the people that say, go ahead, eat those high volume of food. Eat 10 baked potatoes and because with no butter because that will fill you up. Let's get into the portions that are right for us and get used to that amount of food just like you create the habit of exercise and that brings you true weight loss for a lifetime. That's so And true. guess what the bonus is? Great health, great energy, disease prevention, and gosh, we can make money for just well-being. Amen. Amen. Okay, now Tony, let's show the entire day of eating for me, all my meals, my lunch, my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. Okay. Okay? All right. Good. Okay, Leslie, this is an example of a 1,500-calorie meal plan. Breakfast, lunch, supper, and a snack. It all equals 1,500, and this will help you to lose weight or any average woman to lose weight. So all of this food together is 1,500 calories. That's correct. Well, gee, it's a lot of food. It's surprising to see 1,500 calories 
all laid out, and you know that over the day I can take in this much food, and I'd still be on a weight loss plan. That's correct. That's great. So these are my portions. This chicken, a lot of people kind of don't know what their protein should be, so my, that's my portion of chicken. And our protein would be in this portion. That's correct. You have three ounces for supper. Mm -hmm. You have two ounces of protein for lunch. Mm -hmm. You have no protein, but you have a little in the milk for breakfast. Breakfast time, you have two servings of starch or carbohydrates. You have two servings of fruit and eight ounces of milk. Mm -hmm. You also have a serving of fat, which is contained in that muffin. That's why we don't have the teaspoon of butter at your breakfast. For lunch, we have a vegetable. We have two ounces of protein two servings of starch, and one teaspoon of fat. You could use mayonnaise, regular mayonnaise. You don't have to have fat free. Or you could have regular butter or margarine. Mm -hmm. Then for your supper, we have a split chicken breast. Um, the fish and the beef, a good judgment would be like the size of a deck of cards is about mm -hmm. a three ounce serving. That's just how it goes in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> my little deck of cards. No, but that's good. So the size of a deck of cards is the size of your meat, fish, any type Chicken. of protein right. for, for supper time, that's correct. And that's, good. And that's, that's a good idea in your mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Also, a serving of vegetables, two servings of starch. You have a medium potato with a slice of bread, and you have two servings of fruit at that supper meal. That's good. Then, the fun part, your yes. snack. Those are two regular Oreo cookies, and each one is about 47 calories each. Mm -hmm. And you have eight ounces of skim milk. See, that's not so bad. I think everybody thinks it's about the, the snack free or that brand, right? Actually, the snack wells have more calories than the Oreos. That's surprising. Isn't that amazing? We buy the fat free box right. and think it's okay. And actually, the regular cookies they've been making for years. It's fine, just eat the portion that's right for you. Exactly. And again, the point is eat the food you like, just get it in the portion that's right for you. But you know, Tony, I want to show them something quickly. I'm going to go over and grab a plate. If you even have a day where you say, you know, I'm just you're having a food of junk food day. Mm -hmm. Even with junk food, if you want to call it that, you say there are no foods that are bad. Right. I still say there's some junk food out there. But if you really crave those sweets and things, go ahead and have them. I'm going to show them really quickly. Stay right there. Here it comes. This, you know, some days I feel like this for lunch. That's the truth. No, but it fits in. Well, actually, you can work any food into your 1500 meal plan and lose weight. I'll take this bag of potato chips. There's 10 grams of fat in one small bag of potato chips. Mm -hmm. So that would be the equivalent of your two teaspoons of butter. All you have to do is not eat your bread for supper. You can have your chips whenever you want. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, take away two teaspoons of butter. And right. then you will be having the same amount of calories. You're still having 1,500 calories. This and is that's a, the junk food. This is our good meal plan for a female to lose weight on. Can we quickly show what the male eating plan is? What would we do to bump this up to the male? Okay, to so bump that up to the male, we would just add a fruit to lunch, at least one to two servings okay. of fruit. You still that. Um, Okay, and then for breakfast, you could add at least one or two eggs. You need a little bit more protein for the vent. And um, then for your snack, you could have a higher calorie uh, snack. Okay, you can have four cookies. A lot of men don't like sweets. They might want a light beer or a bag of pretzels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a bag of pretzels, actually. So they're going to, so 1,500 calories, if they increase another 300 calories, they add it where they really need it. Some people like a little larger breakfast. Exactly. Some people really take in the, most of the calories in the evening. Right. When they're relaxed and at home, right. yeah, so at the end of the day. Right. Okay. They could double the cereal. They could add some more fruit. They could have, you know, like I said, the light beer and some pretzels, maybe mm -hmm. two servings of pretzels at night. Great. Well, this shows the perfect portions of... A lot of popular foods, a general kind of an eating plan. But you know, Todd, the one favorite food we did not show, my favorite food, is okay. pizza. And I want to show everybody Grandma's old fashioned oh, recipe. Love pizza. Grandma was low fat before low fat was cool. And uh, we now know that it's such a healthy um, um, way to eat is the things you really like. And I really like pizza. So next, we're going to show you my great recipe and the perfect portion of pizza for you.
portion of pizza. We're going to make it right now. Okay, here's what we do. I use about two cups of warm water. You know, when you're dealing with yeast, you have to use water that is not too cool and not too hot, so it's warm water. I just put a cup in and put the second cup in. We use two dry packets of yeast. Now remember, this is, again, grandma's old-fashioned recipe. I'm sure she used that cake yeast. But I use the dry yeast that's the quick rise, and I use these two packets. So we just sprinkled it in and get it going. Okay, so two packets of the dry yeast. The quick rise I like because it does. In the 20, 25 minutes, you have good fresh dough, and you can get started making your pizzas. Okay, so two cups of water, two packages of dry yeast. These are three-ounce packages. We're going to give you the perfect um, recipe at the end, so it'll be written down for you if you just want to watch now. I also add about a tablespoon of milk, but just like Grandma, I never measure. I'm sorry, I don't do it. I just pour it in, you know, that's about a tablespoon. If you need to, you can grab your measuring utensils out and go ahead and add them, but I don't do that. Okay, a little bit of batter. We're making our yeast mixture good. Just a little wee bit. I use about, mm, it's not even a tablespoon. These are two teaspoons, actually that we had prepared earlier, so we'll go ahead and use them. And then we let that all dissolve. Once the yeast dissolves, and the butter and the milk are in there, I add a little sugar, it's about a tablespoon, sometimes a little more. And then just to bring up a little flavor in the dough, you add a little salt, and I do it just like everybody with their hands. <laughs> about Oh, gosh, right in the center of your palm, if you do uh, fill up the center of your palm, it's almost a teaspoon, so I do about a teaspoon and a half right there. Okay, and we mix all that. Then, once it dissolves, you go right into your flour. And so your good bread flour is fine, that's all you have to use. You keep adding it until you get a buzz. So we're going to, let me pour a big amount in here. This pizza dough not only makes great pizza dough, it makes great homemade buns, homemade bread. Once you have the dough, you can do a lot with it. And I know a lot of you are great cooks, so you'll now be creative with it and know what to do. So we bring it all around. Once it dissolves, get it mixed good the first time before you start adding the flour. It's going to take five or six cups of flour. But I just keep adding it until I, it starts to form a bath. So what I'm going to do here is just dump it in. I've been making pizza dough since I was 11. Just want to announce that. That'll make my mother happy. Because at the time I was 11, I wasn't that happy about it. Mother. <laughs> Mom. But now that I'm a mother of three, I'm so happy that my mother said, you better learn to cook, and I'm thrilled. So this is one of the best recipes. And you really can't mess it up because as long as that yeast is active, it'll raise the dough for you and you cannot mess this recipe up. You can see it's forming a bowl already. Okay, keep adding the flour until it, you get it to a bowl. Knead it for about five minutes, cover it up, and then it's going to raise in about 20 or 25 minutes and it'll be ready for you to use. Okay, I'm gonna show you what it looks like already raised. So let me take this. I'll put it here. All right, this is your bowl of dough. It doubled, and that's what it'll do. It'll come up and raise like that. It's ready to be used for the pizza now. Now, this recipe will make about eight to 10 pizzas this size, this perfect portion size. I'm gonna assemble a good, healthy pizza for you today, okay? And of course, remember, what, what's the trouble? It's the toppings. If you want to do a high-calorie pizza, you add those high-calorie toppings. But quickly, if you want to make a great, healthy pizza, I'm going to salt and pepper the crust. I have oil on my hands to spread the dough so you can see the oil there to keep the um, crust from getting too dry. You need a little bit of that oil. Okay, then I've got some good, fresh tomato. And any way you like to have your tomatoes sliced or chopped is fine. Good, fresh tomato, nothing beats that right out of the garden. I'm going to throw some great garlic, chopped garlic. Okay. 